Hello everybody. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Paper Mario. I'm your host, Super Paper Master. And I did not I'm not able to speak because I did not say everybody properly. And we just saw the heart heart running, so I don't know what he was doing. He was just waiting outside the door for like a few minutes. And where the hell is that guy? I didn't even kill him. Oh well, I'm not gonna complain. Maybe the heart killed him for me. You know, sometimes bad guys could be nice. Actually, I just talked about something I should do. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Oh, this, that's gonna be good. It's time to reun reunite. Mm. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling good and my heart and body untied. There's no way to beat me. Untied. <laughs> what a boob. Hagrid shell shot. He's such a big target. Six damage right off the bat, and then we're like, I messed up the action command. And I still beat him. He has 10 HP. Yeah. And he gives you 31 because you know it's with the heart battle. You know, which is much more harder for. Oh no! With my heart and body untied, I'm not invincible anymore. Now I'm back to the not invincible. To blah, blah, blah. That's so lame. I give up! Look, I'll get back! Oh, the ghost I ate! Forgive me! Oh, Stanley and Hubert! They're back! Yeah, the brown ones are from Lusty Glutch. White ones are from, um, Boo's Mansion. I actually a really sensitive guy trapped in a huge body. I don't want to be invisible if he, anymore if it means I have to fight guys like you. What a wimp. Gaha. <laughs> Serves you right, and everyone who got eaten has returned safely. Hurrah! But I guess I'll better tell everyone not to scare old Tubba Blubba anymore. We used to love scaring Tubba Blubba night and day because he was such a coward. Well, and that's why he ate you guys! Oh well, we're not sorry for it. Scaring folks is what ghosts do, so boo on him. Ha! Besides, that was a pretty invigorant. Invigor invigorating experience. I've never felt so full of excitement before, and I also get learning experience. I think I better experience some more of the outside world. So, I think I'll accompany you a little longer. Is that okay, Mario? Of course. Of course it is. You're. I powered you up. Of course I'm gonna take you with me. Here, he's free now. The planet Saturn, like always, you know, Saturn, you know. This is probably my f one of my favorite star spirits. Is like, as you know, I like Eldstar because he's a pretty good one. Uh, but this guy and the another one are very are like those are the three best ones. Is this dude? Another one and Eldstar. Eldstar gets less useful later on, but like right now he's still useful. End of chapter. <clears throat> after so after solving the secret of the invincible blah blah blah, blah Mario and party set free star spirit Sokalar. I think that's what it says. Now with Tabla Baba to the bad dream, the booze are free to heart to their heart's content. Even the lonely Winnequin, Drew Glusty Glutch, I think it's that, seems to be celebrating the victory. Gusty, uh, Gusty Glutch, Glutch, I guess. At least for now. When newest party member, Bo, in tow, Mario and friends are ready to take on the next challenge. Yes, what's now? Peach event. This is actually a pretty easy event if I do say so myself. Okay, yeah, they always say the same thing. I wonder how Mario is doing. How about we go out and find out find out some more information for him? Wait, is it here? No, but I'm sure one time she looks like she's like sad that she's like escaping. It's so stupid. I think this is one of the last times we're gonna see her walk into the passage. After a while, they just cut this tin out because it's like pointless. <laughs> this is gonna be a good scene. <laughs> it can't be! No, no, no! Explain that again slowly! 
the question is, I keep trying to tell you, Tubba Bubba was a goat defeated by Mario. Well, that's strange, because you told me he was invincible. How can you beat someone who's invincible? Grr, stupid Mario. I guess maybe he found out the secret I made Tubba Blubba not quite so invincible. And then he beat him. Grr, I despise Mario, really. Your filthiness, we have to come up with another tactic and quickly. Mario will almost likely go almost likely go to Shy Guy's toy box next. Yes, so we should prepare something there for his arrival. I won't be satisfied just having him beaten up anymore. What we need to do is find his weak point and completely humiliate him. Yeah. I don't want this to be like, you know, too high pitched like it was like in episode 9 where it was like really high to the volume. So that's why I'm trying to like not make his voice that high anymore, even though he wasn't in that episode. Where's he? I don't know. Come here, Cooper. You gotta find out what Mario hates and... Yes, sir. Sir. Hey, they just know his speech. Gah! For the love of... Why? Why is Princess Peach here? What's wrong with those guards? It's six minutes already to record and shit. No, wait, hang on. This is actually good timing, my mistress, princess. You're just discussing the weak points of our mutual friend, Mario. So, Princess Peach, what do you think about his weakness, huh? And listen, you must be honest. Which of these things does Mario hate most? Whatever you put, Mario's gonna have to fight in the next chapter. So, naturally, if you put these things, he's probably gonna have four of them fighting him. Okay, I mean, you could put Koopa if you want, but I've also just put Mushroom here. Hmm, I see. Excellent. Also, whatever you put, is there another thing that he found with some dread? Whatever you put, you're gonna have to fight. But if you put an item, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna have to fight it. And the Thunder Rage, you really should put that. Good, good. And how about these things? Which of these does he hate? I should put the good stuff, you know. Items. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Thanks, Princess. Gahaha. <laughs> be sure Mario can't avoid these things that he hates. We'll beat him for sure. Did you get all that, Kami Koopa? Get going immediately. But hahaha, <laughs> of course your growliness. Mario's really in for it now. Or is he? Hmm, I started to wonder for a second there. But then again, King Bouncer's ordered this, so I have no choice but to obey him. I guess we'll see. Saying that right in front of Bouncer? Of course you will. My tactics are brilliant. They're pure art. So, Kami Koopa, have Princess Peach taken back to her room immediately. Finally, we will witness the end of Mario at last. Gahaha. <laughs> Guards, attention. Take Princess Peach back to her room at once. Yes, Mom. Again. And then Twink acts like an idiot and puts himself in plain view, but again, no one sees him. And now, oh, finally, we are back here talking with the Star Spirit at the exact same place. Hello again, Mario. I knew you could do it. I don't know how to thank you. By the way, did you notice during that whole Peach event we were just standing here doing absolutely nothing? I knew I was the right decision to ask you to help us. You're a great mon. And I'm free, I can help you. Ha! Huh. Mario Stein, she goes up the tree. Mario can now use Star Storm, a new Star Spirit power. With Star Storm, you can attack all enemies. Seven damage. Mario had one bit of bad news. Unfortunately, Bouncer's life force seems to be getting stronger all the time. Most likely, it's the Star Rod that's giving him more power. We're not even sure if he's noticing it or not, but there's no question that it's making him stronger than before. You will have to be much more careful in the coming trials. Ah, uh, I'm sorry to leave, but I must go back. The other star spirits are waiting for me there. Well, the two that you saved, you know. Please, keep it a secret that I got lost in Forever Forest. You know I'm a cool dude. I'll never get over it. You know, they'll never forgive me for that. Okay, uh, and I did use some stuff, so um, I'll probably, I won't go to the shop, that's one thing for sure. I'll just go there to put in this herb. Here it is, Strange Leaf. It recovers 5 FP like a honey syrup, so um, 
Uh, I should have full health, yeah. They had a blue, st yellow, green, and blue star spirit to Nemo and Jigs. Uh, there's a door right here. We're going to be doing that after chapter 5 because there's a power block there, but all our partners are powered up. There's one power block in uh, Shy Guy's toy box, which we will have to use with a partner we meet there. Uh, okay. Oh, you know what time it is now? It's time for Koopa Koop missions. Uh, I think I could do all of them. Uh, no, I can't. Shit. There's always something that's wrong. But for now, we're gonna be trying to do most of them. Ah, oh, we have Chuck Quizmo right here. Uh, we'll do that little girl that's near the dojo, too. We'll give her the thing when we go around there. Question. What color are Luigi's plants? Uh, they should be blue. We bought our overalls at the same place, you know. Yes, there we go. Okay, what do you have to do for us, Koop the day, Koopa Koot? He wants to know what's going on in Toad Town, so we have to go read the news for him, front and back. I didn't come back here and see him. Pretty simple. Because, you know, we're big fans of the Koopster, so. Maybe you're not, but, you know, I am, you know. Koopa Koot, you know, he's like the bomb, man. Cool new music! Oh no, my favorite frying pan! You don't have another frying pan, eh? I'm, I'm sure of it, you don't have another one. Let me guess. You lost your frying pan. Oh, hello there. Yeah, she cannot cook for us because she lost her frying pan. You don't have another frying pan? I mean, seriously, old lady? Oh, my little wings. Hey! Okay, the train can't leave because it was a dumb shy guy in the track. But... We took care of him. I mean, seriously, shy guys are evil. Just run over them, um, those stupid tins. One, two, three, four, five. I have five little winks because I want to do another one. I'm gonna do that. I have lots of money, anyways. I can only have 999 coins, so can't have too much. I wish there was little winks in the other Paper Mario games because little winks are like the bomb. Oh man, I got a tiger one. Yeah, look at those stripes. Stripes. I'll just do another one because I was mad like a tiger. Okay, let's do this. Oh my god. Is that what I think it is? Oh wow, it's a silver little oink. Look at its silver hind glittering in the sunshine. What a gorgeous creature. Oh my god. Never in my life have I ever gotten a silver little oink. They're like totally rare, and gold's even rarer. That's what it was like, the little ding when it got hatched. Oh my god, that is like so lucky, man. Oh, I can't tell you. I'll always have this video to remember it by. I'm so happy for that. So yeah, now let's go do the other stuff. Hey, you little scrap, get your hands off my calculator. Oh, this is so dumb, man. Sorry, bud. I had to close up the shop. Some idiot shy guy stole my calculator. You believe that? I need that thing to calculate sales, bud. I'm not a genius. When I find that little punk, the prices are like 75 coins. How a calculator does not help you, dude. Seriously, it doesn't. Okay, I don't know why that did a shining noise. Oh, maybe it was just a little. Maybe it was just actually that that did this when I used my hammer for the shy guy. <laughs> but. I don't know. <laughs> jumping on the bed. Two monkeys jumping on the bed. There's some shy guys though, so two shy guys jumping on the bed. Hey, uh, yeah, what we're, we're gonna do? Come here, um. Dojo lady, where are you? You must be one of the girls here. Uh, I believe it's you. Is it you? Nope. You have to actually talk to her. They all talk. Ah, uh, there we go. Here you go, ma'am. The chain mat letter. She talks a lot. Anyways, um, wait, we have other letters. Um, entrance, low mouser, and dry dry post. Okay, we could do these two letters. Um, wait, there's uh, two other tins I got. Oh! 
No, you stole that guy's dictionary. That dude is like 